Welcome back to Retro Revivals. In an earlier video, we started tackling some of the wiring in our camper here. When we replaced the wall, of course, we had to replace the wiring. Um, also, we bought new taillights. These taillights are LED taillights, um, but there is one key thing that we discovered when we were trying to wire in the new taillights. The old taillight and brake light actually had uh, four wires, and those four wires consisted of your backup light, a ground wire, um, your tail light, and then your brake light slash turn signal. So there was only four wires there. So our new tail light actually has five wires. And the reason for that is you have a backup light, a tail light, uh, a brake light, but we have an additional separate amber light for the turn signal. So there was a few things that we could do, or a couple different things we could do to solve that problem. One was to add additional wiring from the front of the, the uh, camper, from the turn signal and the brake light, back here to operate our new lights. Instead of doing that, we went with option B, which was to get this kit. And you can get this kit online. We happen to go on Amazon. It's from Kurt. Um, it is a, here we can get a close up of this. It is a um, kit that allows you to take your existing light wires that were combo turn signal brake light wires and actually separate those and give you the ability to have a separate turn signal brake light and tail light. So this is a non-powered kit, meaning it doesn't require any batteries or any separate voltage. It's taking the actual power from the, uh, the brake light source itself to operate it. All the reviews and things online said that this is exactly what we need. That's what we're hoping for. It's supposed to contain all the diodes and everything that will allow these to work properly. This is what it looks like inside the camper. This is the wiring from the camper itself on the driver's side, okay? So we have green is power, blue is your backup light, and then red in the old tail light here actually supplied the brake and turn signal function, okay? So we're taking these light wires and we, go, we wanna go to our five light wire uh, tail light. Okay, so this is the little white uh, light that is above the brake light right now. Um, that's the standalone light. That is also a blue wire. So that blue wire and this white wire is for the new backup light for the new tail light. Okay, the black wire is the ground wire. The yellow wire is the turn signal wire. The red wire is the brake light and the green wire is for the um, tail light. So we bought this kit, like I said, from Kurt. It's going to be able to uh, split all of our um, signals up to where they're supposed to go. Let's get to wiring. Don't say apprentice. Say this is my son, Jack. This is my son, Jack. He's also my electrical apprentice for the day. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> gonna, I'm going to teach him a thing or two about how to wire uh, some brake lights. We're going to make nice, new, clean connections. They'll all be the same length. I'm taking off about a half inch of that shielding to expose the conductor there, okay? So this is the turn signal slash brake light wire, okay? What was happening before when we had, um, when we just put the new lights in, when we hit the brake lights and turn the turn signal on, the brake light would flash with the turn signal, okay? That was fine in our old style light. When the brake light and the turn signal were together, that brake light would be the turn signal. Now that we have them separate, we have that yellow amber light out here, and then we have a brake light by itself. What we need this light to do, or this wire to do, is to be separated into the two different functions, the brake light and the turn signal. That's where this Kurt box comes in. On the input side here, so we are on the left-hand side of the vehicle, we're going to take this yellow wire and we're going to strip it back a little bit and then we're going to splice these two together. Put those two wires together are these solder seal uh, wire connections. 
there's a little solder joint right here in the middle. And then the other, um, the rest of it is that, like a shrink wrap or a shrink tube. So I'll insert the, each wire from each side. I'm going to use a heat gun to apply heat to the solder joint here. That's going to melt and it's going to bind those two wires together. So try that. I'll hold it and then I'll let you do the next one by yourself. Like I said, kind of run it back and forth a little bit because that plastic tubing will shrink around your wire and it makes it a watertight connection. So kind of bring it up over top here. Yep. Now focus right in the middle where that solder connection is. You can also turn your wire a little bit, that might help it. Okay. Now, you, sir, are going to make the next connection. Okay, I'm going to have you strip back about a half inch of shielding off of each set of wires. You'll reach in here, you'll get your red solder splice, you put the wires in from each side, and then you're going to turn your heat gun on and make your connection. So there you go. Yeah, and you can pull on it. I mean, don't be afraid to pull on it, but... All right, so reach into your solder splices there. All right, make sure you kick all those all over the floor whenever you possibly can. I like to do that. Okay. Maybe drop them here and there, you know. All right, so you got them in, on the one side. Okay, so yeah, now pick up your heat gun and put all that together. <laughs> there my hands you are go. Too close. No, you're doing great. It's probably good. And you can always come back and examine it just to make sure it was doing what it was supposed to. Yeah, it actually, you can see that solder. The red. Well, part, it's the yeah, silver yeah. part. Yeah. As long as you get that silver uh, solder to bleed out into your wires, you're in good shape. So there's going to be a lot of repetition here with our splices. So we are going to uh, time lapse this, and by the next time you see us, It'll all be done and we'll have working lights. This is the part where we hook the battery back up and we're going to test the lights. Fingers crossed. What do you think, buddy? Did we do it? No. Boy, that was 100% no, real quick. <laughs> okay. Okay, tail lights. They're on. Brake lights. Yup. Backup lights. Yup. All right. And turn signal. And the turn signal. It's on. Wow. All right, that was a success. And that is a load off my mind. It all worked out. We've got working tail lights, brake lights, turn signals, everything. So that's good. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't seen any of our other videos, make sure you take a look at those as we renovate this 1976 Dodge Cruise Air RV. <laughs> Is that a running theme?